How would you feel about a robot doing your dental work? Well, there are some amazing advancements in dentistry like digital scanning, 3D printing, and AI-assisted diagnostic software. These technologies are making visits to the dentist easier, more consistent from office to office, more accurate, and less time consuming. But today, I'm gonna to talk about something far more advanced and still somewhat controversial, robots and dentistry. I've got three ways these cool dental robots are already being utilized. My name is Charlotte, a licensed dental hygienist, senior burst ambassador, and you are watching Burst TV. First, you should know that dental schools, they're already using robots for simulated training, which gives students the opportunity to practice on a patient without some of the risk associated with working on live human beings. These robots can even be programmed to move and act like a real person would. These simulations can mimic complex dental treatments with high precision, offering students the ability to work on their fine motor skills and control during these delicate procedures with feedback. To help future dental professionals deal with children during dental treatments, the Japanese company Timsuk developed a humanoid robot that realistically simulates the behavior of young children during these treatments, complete with fidgeting, flinching, and closing their mouth suddenly, which is going to happen a lot in the real world. The Simroid robot seen here way back in 2011 already had speech recognition, responded to students' commands, and let them know if they were comfortable or needed more anesthetic. And as weird as that sounds at first, this type of practice can help dental professionals get more in tune with their patients, as well as the procedures that they need to complete at the same time. In 2018, the Medical University of South Carolina became one of the first in the US to have the Dentroid teaching robot. And if you take a trip down this Google rabbit hole, you'll see that more and more dental schools are starting to implement this technology. Okay, so now let's touch on robotic assisted endodontics, AKA, the old root canal procedure. Tiny robots are being developed to help perform these root canals. I know, I know, this can be one of the most dreaded dental procedures because of the pain associated with infected teeth at the time, cost, and inconvenience. As you can imagine, removing infections from a minuscule, very inner part of a tooth can take a lot of time and patience, and even in the best hands, complications can happen. And with all of the possible weird twists and turns in nerve canals, it's nice to know that there are tiny little robots being developed to come to the rescue. These microbots are made of iron oxide nanoparticles and are guided to the area in need of treatment by using a magnetic field. And when in place, they break up bacteria biofilms in the tiniest of spaces that can't really be manually accessed. They can even take samples of that infected area so the dental team can perform diagnostic testing to ensure a more reliable outcome. Now, one of the most exciting ways robots help in dentistry is with implant placements. This essentially is where you surgically place a titanium screw or an implant body into the jawbone and attach a man-made crown on top, kind of like a hat of sorts. This is one of the best ways to replace a missing tooth as it helps maintain the height of the jawbone in that specific area and the adjacent teeth as well. This Yomi dental robot, for instance, has been around since 2016 and is really changing the landscape for implant surgery. Your dentist is still right there performing the procedure, but these systems use a combination of 40 images, smart software, and robotic arms to get the implants in just the right spot. They're super helpful both before and during surgery to make sure everything is carefully planned and goes smoothly. Plus they are incredibly precise, which is a really big deal for tricky dental procedures. And consistently they're seeing less time in the chair and much quicker recovery. Some patients are even going right back to work after having multiple implants placed by this robot assisted procedure. So there are just three of the ways that robots are being used in dentistry. I am so excited to see them more often and I can't wait to hear what you think about all this. Thank you so much for watching the channel. If you have two seconds, please subscribe and let us know what else you'd like to learn about here on Burst TV. And now that you watch this, I have to ask again, would you let a robot do your dental work?